So in the second example, we'll go through an uh, intermediate seam weld. Uh, the previous example, we've covered a continuous seam weld. So let's go ahead and add, add a weld object under mesh. Um, similar to before, um, let's change this to intermediate because that's what we want. Let's also have this as edges um, because we will be picking an edge as an input source. So let's change to the edge filter, pick the edge that we want the weld to be. So again, similar to the last example, I wouldn't be going through all the um, options here. I'll just be going through um, some of the some of the major options here. So let me, um, you know, let's go through this. So so we are particularly interested in the weld length, pitch, and offset one and two. So if I open the presentation, um, you can see so um, the weld. Um, I start with the weld length. So obviously that's the weld width or, or the length that's from that point to that point. That's the length of the weld. Weld pitch is uh, basically from the middle of one weld to the middle of another weld. That's weld pitch. Offset one is um, you know how much length um, is required from the tip of the top face to from to, till where the weld starts. And offset two is similar in the other side of the face in the in the far right corner okay so knowing that let's go back um let's have a weld length of uh you know five millimeters let's have a weld pitch the weld pitch has to be obviously more than the weld length um so let's let's have that as eight i mean or seven seven millimeters offset uh again let's have three millimeter offset one side and three on the other side as well. Okay, um, I'm not going to change any other defaults uh, for now. I just want to see uh, what the uh, how the mesh is created, and then we'll come back to heat affected zones as well as name selections. Okay, so let me go ahead and create the mesh. So let's go through the mesh again. Uh, not ideal. Um, I'll I'll play around with the sizing here either reduce it or increase the size but let's go through if, if what um, what we have the numbers are right so to begin with um, what do we have we've had a 5 mm uh, 5 millimeter um, well length so let's pick this node and this node and make sure that's five there you go that's five and the offset in both sides was 3 mm so let's pick this can I pick that node no I can't okay that's all right can I pick this? There you go, I can. So that's 3mm. That's correct too. Um, anything else? Not really. So what now I'll do is I'll add a heat, I'll add a heat affected zone um, of say like 1mm or even 0 0.5 just because it's, it's super duper close right next to each other um, and just have two layers and I'll I'll, let me decrease the well length just because I feel like it's it's uh, it's pretty big and it's right close to each other. So I'll decrease this to three, okay, and I'll recreate the weld again. Okay, now again it's too thin. Um, uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. So when you're dealing with a proper weld, you'd have your weld dimensions. But as you can see, there are two layers of heat affected zones. Um, also the weld is now should be less uh, it's about 3 mm there there you go okay so similar to what we did with the continuous um continuous seam weld we can also have name selections for this in in this particular example i'll just create the weld as a name selection itself and let me go ahead and create the weld again um so under name selections you can let me get a rush yeah so there you go under name selections if i click it you can see the world in put together in a way name selections okay um, also uh, something which might be interest to some of the users you can control the thickness of the world um, which is created so either by default is program controlled but I would assume depending on what standard you're using um, you know it it depends on what standard you're using you can have a user-defined thickness and you can give it actual user-defined thickness okay so that concludes the two examples. Uh, the previous example was a continuous seam weld on this particular plate, and this one was an intermediate seam weld. Um, so please have a read through the blog and 
give us your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.